Four years ago in 2019, Canon released its last great DSLR camera. A camera I would argue is probably the best DSLR the brand ever released. Now, this camera is not a flagship megapixel monster, nor a Prospec Speed King. Instead, it was a camera for the everyday photographer. But the 90D punched well above its weight, offering specifications and features that were both ahead of its time and above the camera's price tag. And this is the subject of today's video. Now, it's easy four years down the road to look back and compare the 90D to Canon's latest range of mirrorless marvels, which are packed with cutting edge technology. But back in 2019, Canon had actually already released the ESR, the brand's first full frame mirrorless camera, and must have known the direction of travel towards mirrorless. So in many ways, the 90D was a good buy to DSLR technology and Canon went out in style. Amazingly, when the 90D was launched, it cost just £1,200 or $1,200. Yet, when we walk through the specifications, we realise how much of a great deal this price tag represented. First up, let's talk about resolution. The 90D and all its predecessors like the 80D, 70D, and in fact I'm going to show my age now by admitting I own the 10D, they all featured an APS-C size sensor, so a fair bit smaller than full frame. But despite this, the 90D offers 32.5 megapixels of resolution, and that beats the pixel count of some of today's full frame mirrorless cameras. This resolution served stills photographers well, producing impressive image quality that benefited from Canon's colour science and the larger file sizes meant you could make big prints or crop in on frames without compromising image quality. Despite all that resolution, the 90D is no slouch when it comes to speed. In fact, the burst rate offers 11 frames per second. Again, by today's standards, that's not mega fast, but it's certainly enough to keep up with everyday wildlife and sports situations, especially if you've combined the 90D with a fast tele lens. And what about focus? Well, the 90D sports 45 AF points, all of them are the more sensitive cross type, and Canon's acclaimed dual pixel CMOS AF technology. Remember, this is a camera that costs just over $1,000. Photographers could also switch to live view and compose that way if you didn't want to work with the optical viewfinder. And the 90D also supports face detection as well. In terms of design, the 90D is light for a consumer level DSLR, tipping the scales at just 701 grams and features a decent level of weather sealing. Not amazing and not pro spec, but enough so that you wouldn't have to stop shooting if the rain starts to fall. Packing the same LP E6 battery as previous and future Canon cameras such as the 5D Mark IV or the mirrorless R5, it's a fairly efficient camera and the 90D could capture 1300 frames on a single charge. That was a huge step up from the 906 frames from the older 80D. Perhaps the area that reminds me most about what just a great camera the 90D was for its time was the video functions. This affordable consumer level camera could capture 4K video at 24 and 30p and also features a full HD slow motion mode to capture 120p. There's also a time lapse feature and ports for both headphones and external microphones so enhanced audio could be both captured and monitored and that touch sensitive LCD came in a treat too. I used the 90D to shoot a load of pro video gigs and it did a really great job, although admittedly the game has moved on a fair bit in a short space of time. Were there niggles and compromises with the 90D? Yeah, of course. For example, there's only one SD card slot, so you can't make an instant backup of files and that 1.6x crop isn't too far off the crop you'd see from a Micro Four Third sensor, which is 2 times crop. However, the pros massively outweigh the cons with the 90D, and this is an incredibly easy camera for photographers to pick up and use. There's a joystick on the back to adjust AF points, and there's a dedicated stop-start video record button, a pop-up flash should you need it, and the very angle LCD makes awkward compositions easy. Plus, the menu system is straightforward and simple to navigate too. You know, the 90D wasn't officially the last DSLR Canon made. That honour went to the 1DX Mark III, which came out two years later in 2021. But having owned a huge amount of Canon digital cameras in my time, starting with the 350D some 20 years ago, to me the 90D feels like Canon's true goodbye to DSLRs. A thank you to its customers, and without doubt, 
the best consumer level DSLR ever made. Do you agree? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments and please remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.